Okay, I want to point out I made an error in the prior example, by the way, and I'll tell you where the error is. It's right over here. So what I did was I factored out. Um, let's go through that. I'm going to point it out to you, this over here. So that's going to be, if you factor out 67 pi on this line over here, what do you get? You get 1 plus 4n equals 200 u. Then divide both sides by 200. That's the mistake, by the way. And uh, what are you going to get? 67 pi, 1 plus 4n over 200 equals u. And then remember, u is that 67 um, x. So I'll write that over here, 67 pi, 1 plus 4n over 200 equals 67 x. Cancel the 67 on both sides. And so let me just cross out what the errors were. That's an error. It should be 4n, and this is an error, all right? I'm going to do it another way, though. And the reason another way is, I'm just saying, well, I, I did it differently than you do. And I'm not saying that's the only way to do a problem, all right? But I want to just do something different over here. I can write the same question down. I'm going to write sine 67x equals the cosine of 33x. And I'm going to say, you know, m and n, just like we did before, by the way, is some integer value. And then I'm going to say u is equal to, and it's not necessary, but I, I do like making a substitution. I'm not going to say it makes it easier, but um, it makes it a little bit easier for me to think about it. So what are you going to get? And I'm going to do this over here. So it's going to be u over 33 equals x, or 67u over 33 would be equal to 67x. So I'm going to make the substitution now. I'm going to get sine, uh, let's see, 67u over 33 is equal to the cosine of u, all right? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the cosine in terms of uh, sines, co-function identity. Sine 67u over 33 is equal to sine, that's going to be pi over 2 minus u. Now, we're going to get the same answers we got before, by the way. Well, let's, let's keep plowing forward. Now, you could equate the, the arguments now and get a trivial solution to the problem, but these are repeating solutions. So it's going to be sine 67u over 33 is the sine of pi over 2 minus u plus 2 pi n. Equate the arguments. It's going to be pi over 2. Now, this gives, um, you know, an infinite number of solutions, but not all the solutions to the problem. So what I want to do now is, um, you know, I'm going to write this over here, 67u over 33. I'm going to add this to both sides as 33u over 33 is equal to pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. And what do you get there? Well, 67 and 33 is 100u over 33 equals pi over 2, plus 2 pi n. Now certainly I try to do different things each time I do it. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. You get 200 u over 33 is equal to pi plus 4 pi n. I'm going to multiply both sides by 33 and divide both sides by 200. And you're going to get u equals 33 pi plus 4 pi n over 200. Got to clean up a little bit. U equals, well, let's see, 33 pi. And then you get 1 plus 4n over 200. I want to remind you what um, the u was, which was 33x, by the way. So 33x is equal to 33, whoops, pi, 1 plus 4n over 200. Divide both sides by 33. I'm going to get x equals pi. 1 plus 4n over 200. All right, so I got, you know, an answer there. And let me just uh, make sure um, I got to box this one over here. Make sure I don't forget about the other one now. And so what's the other one going to be? Well, I, I got to think about it. And the reason to think about it, I want to write down the equation again that I'm dealing with. And this is the equation I'm dealing with over here. I'm going to write this one over here. That's going to be sine 
of, uh, let's see, 67u over 33 is equal to the sine of pi over 2 minus u. I want to remind you about the sine function. And the sine function, again, if we have, an, if we have an, an angle here that does it, we'd have an angle over here, which would be pi minus x. So that's what I'm going to write down now. I'm going to write down sine 67u over 33 equals, well, I'm going to do pi minus that angle. You get pi, whoops, sorry about that, for the sine. You get the sine of pi minus pi over 2, and minus of minus is plus u now. All right, let me write this one down. And that's going to be pi over 2 plus u. But I'm going to, you know, I could do the, uh, you know, one solution, but I want to get them all, so I'm going to say plus 2 pi. This time I'm going to use the letter m. M's an integer, by the way. And let's equate the coefficient now, 67u over 33 is pi over 2 plus u plus 2 pi m. All right? So I'm going to subtract u from both sides. That's the same thing as u, by the way. And this will be pi over 2 plus 2 pi m. Oh, let's see, 67 minus 33, that's going to be 34, over 33, equals pi over 2, plus 2 pi m. I'm going to multiply both sides by 33 and divide both sides by 34. You're going to get u, 33, pi over 2, plus 2 pi m over 34. I can multiply top and bottom by 2. You're going to get u equals 33 pi plus 4 pi m, and 2 times 34 is 68. All right? And again, what was u? I want to go back and review that with you. I'm not really retaining that, to be honest with you. Uh, the u is 33x, by the way. Thirty-three x is equal to thirty-three pi plus four pi m over sixty-eight. Divide both sides by thirty-three. Certainly get a sixty-eight in the bottom. And I'm going to factor the pi out from the top now. You get pi one plus four m. All right. I'll put a box this one over here. Now, granted, I want to make sure you understand that this answer here. And this answer here should have been obtained from the prior uh, problem, by the way. All right? Now, granted, you might say, I, I remember that. It should be written down somewhere. But um, I want to remind you that w w one of the answers I got before was, um, uh, let me just go through that briefly. Instead of having a plus sign error, I had a minus sign. I want to point out that m could be any integer. So it doesn't matter if that's plus or a minus. It's got to be one or the other, by the way. So plus, or, plus is fine if the minus error is fine. Just like this one up here, you know, if I put a plus sign there or a minus sign, it's really the same answer. Thank you.